What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, folks. Today I'm doing a video about what's in the news right now and uh, about how making, they're making a big deal about Clive and Bundy, you know, the rancher out in Nevada. Made a comment today about, or uh, yesterday, he made a comment about uh, the American Negro. Let's go in. Okay, Clive and Bundy, as I said earlier, made a comment about the state of the American Negro. And from the comments that I've seen and from what I've heard, he made a video today, which I'll talk about. But uh, the comment that I heard, his comment was... 50%, this is, this is, it, it was right and wrong. The wrong part was, he based a lot of his comment off of a project in North Las Vegas of how he saw black people. Now, I'm sure he knows, and I'm going to state this, I don't think he meant all black people. I just think he meant the ones that he's, he's seen. I'm not justifying what he said. I'm just saying that he can't be this ignorant to the fact that there's black people that, that don't live in projects, that we all don't live in projects. But uh, he said he drove past the North Las Vegas project. He saw little black kids and older black people. Door wide open, they're hanging out on the porch. I.e., what they, what they call that, porch monkey? He didn't say that, but that's... Some people can imply that. He said black girls have nothing but abortions, and black boys get all sent to jail. Now... He said that, but that's what's being said in the black community. So, in a way, I have it, I depend on. You can't fault the messenger for that one because it's it's been said by the black community too. But like I said, the part I have a problem with is where he said uh, he Joe passed a project, and if he's if he's basing that on the project part, I have a problem with that. That, that's the first part. Now, the second part, I can't have a problem. Well, well, the first part ties into this. But how do you wonder if we were better off have, being slaves by picking cotton because we were more of a family, and now that we're not a family, and I'll get the second part. Now, the, 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 the slave part of that, of that first part, I agree with him. I think we're better off not picking cotton. That's just me, personally. We are more of a, we're more, we're still a family. It's just that, well, let me talk about the second part before I do this. The second part was where he said uh, he was wondering if we, we if we were better off today than we were yesterday because today we're taking subsidies from the government and if, and, uh, if, we're, if we're no more... The video that he said, he said that we were no more slaves back then than we are now. And I kind of agree with that one. I will admit he, he had a point with that one. He, he wondered, oh, they might be no more slaves by taking us the subsidies that they, we took, we're taking now, than being slaves back then. But we're still dependent on some type of some uh, over overseer. Now, I do agree with that part. But I don't agree with, I mean, if he's basing everything off of that project in North Las Vegas, I can't agree with that. But some of the stuff he said is what's being said in the black community. What it is is... The liberal media is now twisting what he said and tying that in. Now, I know he's now, now, like I said, if he said about that North Las Vegas project, he said a lot of that off of ignorance. And that's my, that's what I'm going to tell you right now. So I don't want you guys running with the ball saying, low rent saying this or red herring saying that. No, if he's basing everything, he's basing everything off of that project in North Las Vegas. That's an ignorant ass comment to say. But does that change the fact that what some of this stuff he said wasn't true? No, it doesn't change the fact. But the problem is, the, the truth that he's spoken is all negated by what the, the idiotic comments that he's made. So people got to realize, and a lot of people were hitching their wagon to this guy. And this goes to show you, this this, this reminds me of a lot of you, these YouTube flameouts on here. How they think they get so high and mighty, the next thing you know, you know, they fall down to the ground with a big old thud. You know, you get so high that you think that you're untouchable. And all you do is say something stupid and you get touched. But like I said, uh, this this situation, I mean, all, and let me give you background. What it is is, 
he, the, I guess he, the federal government didn't want him grazing land certain parts of the year because they're protecting like the desert tortoise or something. And he refuses to pay taxes because he says he, says he should be paying them to the state and not to the federal government. It's a big brouhaha, and he's in the news, so that's why. A lot of people hitched their wagons on him, and a lot of people are sort of unhitching their wagons on him now because he's saying they're finally. He's a, they're, a lot of people are saying he's some crazy old man all of a sudden, which before he was a patriot, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just here to talk about what he said. I'm not going to speculate on anything else. All I know is uh, he, he was he, he was half and half with this. He was right as far as the subsidy part, but he was wrong if he based if he's going to base every black person off of the, that project in North Las Vegas. So I'm out. I got stuff to do. Peace.